Chapter 4. Busting the Hacker Myths How many hackers does it take to change a traffic light? The black and green terminal. You've all seen the black and green terminal. Um, in all the movies, hackers use these terminals, they do a lot of stuff, they can take control of traffic lights, they change the cities, they crash the planes, and they do a lot of things. Let's see if that's real. Not all hackers use black and green terminals. For example, I use a purple and white terminal, as you see in the photo. But there is a reason for hackers using terminal. It's the same reason programmers use terminal, because it doesn't need feedback. What does that mean is that when you type something in terminal and hit enter, you don't have to wait for it to show you something. Whereas if you're using a UI application, you have to take your mouse pointer to it. You click something, you wait for the new window to show up. You find the position of the new thing and then you click that. In a terminal, you can quickly do whatever you want and you don't care what the computer does because eventually it will do what you told it to do and it, you don't really need to wait for the feedback. Terminals are also important because they let you pipe things. What does that even mean? Piping means that you can make one application send its output to the input of another application. So for example, if you want to count how many times the word hack appears on a certain website, you can pipe CRL to grep to WC. Let's see how that works. So I'm going to open a terminal here. I'm going to CRL abusics.com and this is going to show my website so this is the html content for my website now if i wanted to know how many times the word uh for example github is used on this word uh, on this uh, page i would have to read all of this text and search for it you see that this is a gui thing i'm doing i don't want to do that i want to use a tool to do that and the tool i want to use is called grep so I'm going to grab that for GitHub. So what it does now, it instead just shows me the lines that have the word GitHub on them. So I still don't want to count them manually because there might be many, many of them. For example, if I use the word ABSX instead of GitHub, you see that there are hundreds of lines that have this word in them. So I don't want to do that either. I want to use another tool to count them for me. It's called WC, stands for word count. And now you see that it tells me that there are 55 lines. So with a simple terminal command, I can count how many times the word ABSX appears on this domain, on this website. Whereas if I wanted to do that manually, I had to go to the website, search the text, count how many times it's there. Whereas in the terminal, I can do it instantly with a single command. And that's why hackers and programmers alike use the terminal a lot of the time.